var. Hello? I see a back. Help! Help! And here we are at Waffle University. This oh is gonna be, man. we don't know what these waffles are. We don't know if it's a really Korean thing or it's like a new thing, but waffles in Korea, I did not know was a thing. Wow. It's a lot of options. I might go with the banana Nutella waffle. What about you? Um, maybe Oreo Nutella. Oh man, we're both going Nutella boys. Let's see if it's good. Got quite the alarms. <laughs> Look at that thing. A waffle, some cream, some banana, and some Nutella. I'm gonna try to find a quieter area to eat this stuff. Having the having the bikes and the cars go through is just is not it. I agree with what you just said. It's not it. I wonder if they have good bread there. Oh, we need to go there now, too. Oh, let's go, right after this. It's time to eat some waffles. The waffles are nice and crispy on the outside. Well, there's no maple syrup to sog them up. Oh, wow. Having the waffle be so thick actually make it so it's not too sweet of a flavor. Oh, that tastes very good, though. I would have chose to get gelato in mine, but the milk and ice cream here has really affected me a lot. So I just went with the normal, no gelato. Oh my gosh, that corner. Mm. The banana in there is really good. It, the banana flavor really comes through, which is nice, but I feel like some other things might not come through as hard as the banana does. And it gives it a nice mushiness inside of the crunchiness. It's quite delicious. Right, it's time to eat more. Another new area of Seoul. We're heading to the forest. The Seoul forest? Ooh, scary. That's where souls are consumed out of people. And the souls that were consumed forever haunt the forests. Will we find them? Uh, probably. They'll probably possess us to bring back life uh, to themselves. And oh, oh my gosh, is this it? This huge parking lot? Is this this popular? It must be. What What is this place? This was the, this metro station was busier than any station we've gotten off at. And uh, we got off in like the Myeongdong stops and the Itaewon at night stops. So for us, this better be fracking cool. If it's not, I'll be very disappointed. Hey everybody, welcome to the Seoul Forest. I really did not expect this place to be this busy. Yeah, is this where everyone just hangs out? It's gonna make it a lot more uh, challenging to vlog here. Just there's a lot of people. And when there's a lot of people, there's less stuff for us to do. But we'll try, we'll show you around. I don't know if it's just a nice, beautiful park to just chill, drink some coffee, and uh, keep on going. It seems like a lot of the other parks in this uh, city that it's very large. Yeah, this thing goes a couple blocks down the street and then it's like all the way, it's like a big old rectangle. The Seoul city loves their big rectangles, parks. What's over there? There's some sort of barbed wire fence. Sounds like something we should climb. Easy. We already ran on the highway last night, so we might as well just climb a fence. Oh, here's the insect garden or the flower garden. I don't know which one it is. Some form of garden. It's a garden. There's a, there's a nice barbed wire, razor wire fence right there. They really don't want anybody getting in to this building, whatever the heck it is. It's a nice park. It obviously falls down, I think, our uh, favorite park scale because it's so busy. Whereas the one we went to yesterday was uh, pretty empty for the most part. So this one. This one's very popping. It seems like mostly locals too. Yeah, yeah. We haven't... It literally is only locals. We've only seen one foreigner here or yeah. seemingly foreigner. I guess some of these people could be Chinese, Japanese. Yeah. We've seen them. There's one white guy and he's with a bunch of Koreans. So what the heck? 257 on a Monday. Yeah, what? Do these people work? Seems like a place for couples. There's a lot of couples walking around. Just slowly walking down the beautiful dirt path. It's nice. It's free. Yeah. 
Nothing better than free. Oh, look at there's a a hops test right there. Time to do some hops testing. Doesn't seem very high. No. That's not very high. What the? I can hit that one. 210. Is that right? I'm not 210. Uh... No, it's definitely not right. You're not two meters tall. No, I'm 190. That says 210. Maybe uh, they lost some height recently. They had Maybe. Some, uh, some sand or something. Yeah, maybe it sunk a bit. Your arm, your arm reach is 260, 270. Yeah. Very wow! Accurate. <laughs> this is the ultimate workout. I'm confused. What's going on? It's to measure how many rings you are. I, I don't know what that is. Holding my arm up made my shoulders hurt. Yeah, worse. We walked a lot yesterday. I mean, not like insane amount, but a decent amount and pretty sore. Yeah, those dang backpacks. We're not used to carrying backpacks all the time. It really gets into the shoulders. And swinging the baseball bat. <laughs> yeah, I can feel it a little. If you hold like this, tighten your hand. Yeah, I do feel it in the forearm. It. You really had to hold hard. Yeah, you did. I feel it in the center of my back too. From the twisting. Uh, yeah, cool. Ouch. Wow, we really, Korea's taking a toll on us. I think we're gonna die, including my voice, which is slowly gonna be dying today. We told you we were gonna climb the uh, mountain on this trip, but we're not gonna do it this time around. I think next time we come to Korea, we'll climb it or go to a different national park. We heard that one's really busy and uh, we walked a lot. We're a bit sore today. It would have been a nice day to do it though. It would have been. Nice it's very nice. There's rabbits over here. Those are some large rabbits. I'm glad you found the best workout machine in this whole place. <laughs> that would be good for our back right now. Would be. Just don't get vertigo. Can we hit the top vertical? Oh, definitely. That's not very high. I mean, you can hit the second to top one without even... True. <laughs> if you didn't hit the top one, I'd be very disappointed. Okay. I'm like so sore everywhere. My like sides are sore yeah. even. It's from really from hitting? True. And my whole body is sore. Okay, let's go through the motions. Ankles are fine. But even then, there's a little bit of soreness right here. My calves are sore. Yeah, same. So it's like... <laughs> All right, grab the it's, bar. A, it's a little different for me, as oh, you yeah. can see. Yeah, you have maybe like five inches less, four inches less than me. So you just need to jump four inches taller than me. Ugh. Very aggressive. All right, let's see if I can uh, grab the top bar. No. Oh. Ow, that really hurt my arm. You hit it, you hit it very hard. <laughs> that's what it's for. You gotta just loop it all the way around. It's for, that's why it's like this, so you can. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I am 210. Even if it's saying 210 is right here, that's still not accurate. That would mean I'm like high 190s. You're so fracking tall. Look at how much power this thing generates. One megawatt. I can't even read it. That's like five six zero nine. It's oh, so yeah, weird in the really brightness. All I know is that's a fracton. <laughs> <laughs> You're not spelling it like a British person. T O N N E. Yeah, that's a whack. British people, you're whack. Like, bro, I'm a bloody British person. I'm whack. <laughs> and aluminium? That's disgusting. <laughs> this is a nice park. There's a lot of shade wide open extremely clean no matter how many people come here i mean there's a lot of people here right now but there's still space to walk yeah true it's a wide wide boy not too shabby hey buckaroo it's the deer park and unlike india it actually has deer it's not moving much sir just pretend to be a bear and he'll run <laughs> Well, it's definitely a deer. Is it alive? I don't know. It hasn't moved in a while. Oh, its ears moved. I think it's animatronic. It probably is. <laughs> but it doesn't smell animatronic. Oh, it moved its head. He's kind of like smiling. Look at it. Aww. Look at how many deer there are. What's a what's a 
uh, cartoon movie that has a deer in it. Open season. Uh, yeah, I was about to say the only cartoon movies I can think of that have animals are Madagascar. Ice Age. And Ice Age. That's about, that's about and Kung Fu Panda. Oh, true, true, true. That is like six. Guys, you kind of stink. They do kind of stink. There's a lot of duker in there. Why don't they wash themselves? They should be like shampooing and using some conditioner. They could have a like a shower in there that drops yeah. water and shampoo, but I'm sure they would definitely stand under it. Yeah, for sure. Well, the deer. There's a normal path, but then there's a secret path that no one else is going on. What's over here? No one else is going down this path, but we are because we're mad. Frank you know, the, the path shows me, you know, take a world less travel. Hopefully the reason no one took this path is because, isn't because there's a path there, we'll see. Uh, hey, I mean, it's a path. There's no, it's going, it's turning. Hey. I mean, at the end of the park, there's a blow dryer to blow the dirt off your shoes. So I don't know if us and the regular attendees of this park have the same type of uh, outdoor adventure in mind. <laughs> Look at these fracking shoes. Korean people look at these and they're like, ugh. As we're in shorts and t-shirts, <laughs> the spooky path. Ooh, I'm sensing some Korean spirits out here. What? What the fuck? Hello? What's happening? How did he crack and get over there? It's Soul Forest. He's gone again. Hello? Hello? I don't know how there should be so many ghosts in a place like this. I can't make no loud noises very well. The sickness is dampering the uh, epicness of our Korea vlog. I like that this path is just it's just adjacent to the normal path. <laughs> it just looks like we're walking through the woods. <laughs> Guys, we swear there's a path right here. Oh yeah, there's a... You can take that, uh, the noise I made there and just boost the gain by like 10. <laughs> ah! Scary things happen in Soul Forest. <laughs> well, I have to say... What the frack? Well, I have to say that is a killer. Yeah. Well, I have to say, that was the most epic path we could ever find in Soul Forest. Bum, ba, da, ba, bum. Ooh, that's more of the Soul Forest. Bum, ba, da, ba, bum. Crack. Oh, that was well, that, people that was our opportunity and we blew it. The little girl got cut off. Oh, very sad. She will not get to experience the Soul Forest. Boom, 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 boom. We're on a bridge and there's a big dragonfly right there. Holy nuts! What the frack? It's gonna kill us. This is only something that can happen in the Soul Forest. Dun, 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 dun. Why doesn't Mika wear that outfit? That was a terribly ugly dog outfit, I gotta say. I don't know whose decision that was, but it got awful. I don't know if you guys can see it from where we were, but it was terrible. Dress your dogs with more fashion sense. Come yeah, on. Yeah, give them some like some Gucci. Yeah. Or some uh, Versace. Yeah, if you're gonna dress your dog, you might as well do it right. Oh, look at a pond. So we found out last night that we may be having to sleep in the airport tonight. The last <laughs> metro or subway leaves at like 11:42, and our flight's at 8 a.m. And the first one starts at 5.30 a.m. And there's a long time to get to the airport, like 40 minutes to an hour. The first uh, Arex train to leave from Seoul Station is 6.10. Yeah, so that doesn't work. There seems to possibly be a bus, but it's every hour and the, all the articles were old, so we don't know if it's actually still going. And then there's no schedule anywhere for taxis it. Taxis would cost like 50 bucks, possibly more. So it looks like we're gonna have to get to the airport. Around 12 we'll probably arrive and then we are sleeping in the airport. Hey, it seems like a nice airport. So if you're gonna sleep in any airport, maybe that one's a lot. Yeah, I guess so. It might be a terrible night, but we'll vlog our whole experience. So that'll be a future video possibly coming soon. <laughs> Here's another example of us having way less uh, epic cameras and stuff than these people. Whoa, you got it zoomed in, dude. That's gonna cost so much money just for Instagram pics. It looks like you're just zooming in on random people. He can take a picture of us. If he, if he zooms in on me, I'm gonna be like, hey. Oh, 
place is really popping. It's really popping. Very busy. Dang, who would have thought the Soul Forest? I honestly did not think the Soul Forest would be this busy. I... <laughs> Look at that thing. Oh my gosh, she's running it like a straight up G. She was one hand in that thing. It's like a gangster. Yeah, wow, this is nice, really nice green open spaces here. Good place for a picnic. I mean, if you want a nice romantic picnic, it's not gonna happen here. There's a million people yeah. here, but you can it's play nice. some bloody football. Bloody football, bruv. Why aren't they playing baseball? That's the number one sport. Yeah, what the heck? Look at that super fat dog right there. Oh, that's a chunky one. How oh, only in the soul forest can you see chunky dogs? Chunky dog. Interesting way people are like very dressed up to come here. There's yeah. Some, there are a lot of people in like suits. This is Korea. You always gotta look good. Yeah. You can't just be wearing shorts and t-shirts. What the frick is it? It's a little hut hut house. Hello? Someone's gonna be in here. We could sleep here tonight. Whoa! This is fracking freaky as frack. The frack is this place. Something you can only find in the Soul Forest. Well, I don't know what just happened to him. I think the Soul Forest might have got him. Ah, the Soul Forest. Boom, 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 boom. Ah! Oh my gosh, it's the witch's house. I bet a witch lives in here. Hey guys, what's up? What's out? Guys, I can't. You can't. Frack. There's a Tarasalorus here. I know, I heard in myths that in the Soul Forest, bum, ba, da, ba, ba. they have dinosaurs. Trilosasaurus? But it can only be confirmed now by that totally dinosaur print. That might be, that might be one of the Solian mountain lions. Oh my gosh, there's a tube right here. This is really small. I felt great on the legs. <laughs> Oh. My kid in Wonderland? Well, more kids. <laughs> Is this the wood playground that we saw? Oh, the side for? And we're the only people in this place? And we're having more fun than any of the other places. There's a fountain over there. And it's actually on. It smells good right here. It does. What tree is that? It's not that tree. That one doesn't smell that good. Oh, it kind of smells good. That does smell good. What? We have to keep smelling all these trees until we find the culprit of this yummy smell. No. No. Hmm. Not it, but it's, it smells good. I think I might have found the culprit. No, those don't smell like anything. Oh, well, they're smelling these ones. Oops. It clogged my nose. I didn't get to smell it. They don't smell like anything. Where the frack did that smell come from? We'll never find the smell. Oh, look at those big bustling flowers over there. The bumblebee Maybe flowers. Maybe smell good. I've lost the smell now. Where is that smell yeah, coming I, from? Yeah, I didn't smell it the second time it went through. It might have just been someone's cologne slash perfume. Oh, true, it could have been. <laughs> bum, bada, bum. Don't sting me, bumblebee. Those smell good, but there's yeah, not the smell. not the smell. Oh, look at that. They got a whole table and chairs for oh, a picnic. It's literally like camping. It's freaking epic. A fountain! That's very cool. That was Soul Forest. Boom, ba -da -ba boom We're leaving, and right across the street here is SM Town's uh, building, so that should be pretty fracking cool to see. We're actually, we've been fracking the K-pop for two years, and now we're gonna see one of the buildings? I'm very intrigued to see what it'll be like going there. I'm intrigued to also see like if there's like just gonna be people waiting outside to see one of the idols or something. So, <laughs> well, this is gonna be an experience. It will be very interesting. Well, Google Maps says this is it. It's just a complex of super nice buildings all the time. <laughs> doink, doink, doink. So I'm a little. I mean, it was always a possibility that we just go to one of these buildings and there's just be it's just a building. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see what it's like. There's nothing that is clearly signaling what building it is though. Well, yeah. It didn't say like, SM, oh, Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch are from here. There's just a lot of people just walking around. Is this actually it or is Google wrong? You think there'd be something that would... Google might be wrong. This looks like a business building area. But the, the st station 
when we got off yeah, it said so. Soul Forest SM Town. So it's somewhere around here if this isn't it. I mean, but it is possible all these buildings are just empty. Or not empty, but just buildings. Yeah. Okay, this is officially the SM building. I don't know if they own... There's a little McDonald's sign in that window. I don't know if they... Do they literally own the whole building? Or do they just like rent out a, some floors? They might just rent out some floors. But, I mean, there was like NCT and Espa and all shiny and stuff like playing on this right here. So that's definitely the building. There's apparently a museum we're gonna go down to over here and check it out and then after this we're gonna head and get a little luncher at Wateria, the Korean, the Korean fast food. What is Korean fast food? Gonna all be I like? know is they got 20 centimeter long cheese sticks. And all I know is best ever food review show did a review on it. He apparently didn't like it the first time he tried it but then he tried it again and it wasn't too bad. So, so Wateria, then we're gonna head to uh a big mall here apparently in South Korea. For some reason on Google, it kept saying the biggest mall in Asia, which is not true, but maybe it's the biggest mall in Korea. We've been to a lot of the biggest malls in Asia, the Times Square Mall in KL and like four different malls in the Philippines. And uh, Dubai Mall, yep, Dubai, Dubai Mall. So another mall, we haven't been to a mall in Korea. I thought there'd be more to be honest, like a lot. Yeah, same. But there hasn't been any, we haven't been to a single one. We'll see what it's like. And then that's down by Hybe Labels as well. So we'll check that out as too. Just Maybe it might just be like a building, but we'll see. We'll see. Some sort of store in there. Sounds like it looks like they're selling an album to sell. It's like a little mall down here. Interesting. Gordon Ramsay? Why the frack is Gordona down there? Gordona? What are you doing, you little fracker? Yvonne's Bakery? I have a feeling a lot of these places are very expensive. Yeah, probably. Probably. This is a bakery. Look at that place. That's a fancy bakery. I mean, they have brioche croissants. Well, look at those cream sandwich things. D Museum. Alright, what's in D Museum? It's D Museum. They are very affluent, Oh, you have to pay. Oh, gosh. See how much it costs. Uh, the museum looked like it was literally like just a museum like a museum of like, a tower like I, we looked in and there's just like a weird white dog statue in so, just like the middle of a room so maybe there's a sm section because they yeah maybe own it now or uh have some rented out places but this is more <coughs> different than i expected it to be look at gordon my god we should just eat there instead I'm curious to see what the prices are at a Gordon Ramsay restaurant. I've never been to a Gordon Ramsay restaurant. I've been to a Guy Fieri restaurant. 39? Isn't that crazy expensive? I think these might be appetizers. Appetizers. Yeah. All I know is this one's very expensive. These bigger things are expensive. It's definitely above average on the expense. Yeah. There's a lot of gelato here, surprisingly. Dang, there's a lot of restaurants down here. A lot of restaurants. I expected to see K-pop, not uh, restaurants in Gordon Ramsay. We're just coming back around. Oh, we're at the museum. This just come up where we were. We're coming around oh, town. <laughs> the sign said SM Entertainment Group uh, reception. Should we just walk in and be like, hey, we're checking in? Checking in. We're here to see Mark. Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. He might know us at this point. Who knows? Oh, it's possible. This seems like we're going back outside. <laughs> yeah, they're literally just leading us to the building. I don't know if we can just peek over here. We should have expected that a um, large corporation like SM Entertainment. Oh, look, there's something in here. Are we allowed to go in there? What the? Why is it so like colorful over there? Where's just that here on the other side? Is that just an illusion? Is that just like a color thing from the outside? I didn't know what to expect, but also I didn't expect this. No, no, me neither. There's so many like cafes and restaurants connected to it. Yeah, it's, people just be like, oh, it's SM's building. Yeah, see, there's like SM stuff right there. And then they just eat at a very probably overpriced cafe. Okay, so these people behind us definitely came for SM. Are they disappointed by this? This is a billboard? And this is literally just, the door is just colorful. And then it's just 
into the reception. Interesting. So I guess there's one thing to know. If you're coming here... Oh wow, it got very windy. If you're coming here to South Korea to just go to the K-pop buildings, this is what you're going to be met with. Who knows, maybe we missed something, maybe COVID changed something, who knows. It's a corporate building, they do work here, it's not a tourist spot. No, no. And they're not like in the city center either. Uh-uh. And there's something that literally says NCT perfume. But I think it's just to the elevators. Should we just get in an elevator and just yeah, start going just up? Go. I don't know if we can record it going up. So we saw something interesting. I don't know what group they're from, but there's definitely some K-popers who they, walked in right in front of us. Or they had some sort of influence in the scene because they literally just walked up and they scanned their fingerprint in the thing and then and they checked in. They held the door for us. Yeah, uh, very nice. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the K-popper who held the door for us. We're very famous, I know. Um, it's not playing anymore, but they literally just have this big screen and they like played some stuff on it. They looked like, those guys looked like they were dressed to go do a dance practice. Yeah, they were. That's they interesting. outfits. I don't know, We the camera had an error right before, so... Oh, no? Okay, when those guys went and fingerprinted, it might be because we were the only uh, random two white dudes in there, but they looked at us and they were like... <sighs> he like... Like, smiled. He like smiled at us as he fingerprinted in. It was interesting. So either we're super epic famous, or uh, they just thought it was weird that we were there. <laughs> yeah. There's one thing, one bad thing about using a GoPro and being a vlogger. Everybody in there was filming with their phones. We have the stick on our GoPro and the guard's like, no, 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 no. It's nowhere near professional, but it just, it's slightly more professional than a phone. Yeah, so they don't let you film with it, unfortunately. Oh. The, the filming the billboard, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should've just said, oh, no, 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 it's okay. Yeah, it's actually okay. I'm fine with it, so. 